Hello everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. See you guys in a second. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Okay, so let's get to the first thing that you need to do in your business. Know your why. And this can be something that's interesting to you, something that you want to do, something that comes to you in a dream, like the matrix, or, you know, something that, you know, you always thought of trying to do. So you have to know why you're doing this. Because your grandma said it's a good idea, because your dad said it's a good idea, because your friends say it's a good idea, or do you think it's a good idea? So put that down on the list. Why? Because, and you know that because. Now, um, if you don't have a why, let's say you want to do something, but you don't know what. So you want to take out a piece of paper and list all the things you like doing. And don't leave anything out. Let's say you like to play basketball. Just put that down. Just put anything down that you like to do, okay? And then you break down and see which of these can be in an industry that will make a generate a profit. So you take that into list and you break it down and you break down and you take out the ones that are going to be a bigger why that will make a profit. Then what you do is look at the list that you got left and see about the marketing, like the, not, not the marketing, the market that you want to hit and see what fits around that market. Let's say you live in Washington, in Seattle, um, see and do the Google research of an industry that is in that particular list, how it's doing. And how much competition do you have? Okay, and this is what you can do with your why that you already have too. So you gotta Google up, Yelp up, or do whatever, find out the businesses that are in the same exact industry or close enough to see how much competition you have around the area you wanna cover. And the way to do it, even if you're doing online, um, like e, like e-commerce or drop shipping, you have to pick on a marketing um, thing. Is you have to pick a certain area to start off with, because marketing is going to be very expensive if you select everywhere. So you have to select the demographic area that you want the marketing to go and hit first. It's going to be your hometown, which is better, you know, everybody starts in the hometown, or it can be the next town over. Depends on where you want to go with this, okay? So you got your why, you got your list, you're researching and seeing how the market is shaping up. This should also give you your marketing budget. More competition you have that means it's gonna be more expensive to market. So remember that, when you're picking your why, it's gonna be more expensive to market if it's uh, like more saturated. That, that's another word. If it's more saturated, it's gonna be more expensive to market because you gotta remember this, the person or the businesses around that are in the same marketing are marketing also to the same demographic areas and same people that you'll be marketing to. So that's why I say it's kind of like a bid. So if one dollar is getting this guy some FaceTime, like you know this business, some FaceTime, this person or this business has to pay two dollars to get the same amount of FaceTime to get a little bubble of this person so they can be noticed. So same thing goes for marketing. You have to 
put more to be upfront. That is how marketing works. So to know your marketing budget, to know your marketing value, you got to see how much each an individual company right here would be spending on their marketing. Do a marketing research um, and see where you can find them. And the thing is, you have to search up your own way, like what keywords you want to use. If you get a marketing team, they'll figure this out. So once you get a marketing team, get a marketing analogist. So they will get this whole demographic and see what everybody's spending and see like what where your money can get you to, to get you a more of a bigger ROI. So to get a bigger ROI, you got to have this whole analysis, whole printout. So this will help you with the budget. So you have to spend some money on this market analysis. It's not free, but the money you spend on it, you'll save in the long run. I guarantee you that long as you got that done before you go through any of the licensing permits and all that shenanigans, you have to get your why ready. Your why has to be strong, solid, that no matter what happens, you're going to stay strong behind it. That is your motivation to push forward. So I want you guys to make a list. If you don't have a list of what is your why, uh, why you want to do this, what business you want to go towards, and look at the market, market around where you want to market it and see how many other competitions of same businesses or same type of businesses are around. There are some businesses that will complement your business and there are some businesses that will destroy your business. So you have to know how to play the game on that level. They've been, um, the other businesses that been in the company, in this um, industry longer, will have more of an experience in that. So you need to get your team together. Understand, making sure you have a correct team to forward and then they will help you out. So you don't have to do everything on your own, but you have to put the team together on your own. So it's up to you to know your why. Thanks for watching Knob Talk. Check you guys out tomorrow. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and share this video with someone that needs it. Thank you. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video with somebody that needs it. Thank you.